will learn tense. Read these sentences. I am Rohan. I am playing football. I played yesterday. I play every day. Here the verb play is used in different forms which shows us the time of action. These forms are called tenses. Now let's see simple present tense. Read these sentences. The sun rises in the east. Dolly walks to school. We go to school by bus. In all these sentences, the verb rises, walks and go, state what happens every day and are in the simple present tense. We use simple present tense mostly to talk about things that are always true and to describe an action that we do every day. Example, dog eats bones. We play football in the park. Now let's see the basic formula for simple present tense. Subject plus verb plus object. Let it be more clear. Subject. If the subject is I, we, you, they or a plural noun, we use the base form of the verb. And if the subject is he, she, it or a singular noun, we'll add s, es or ies to the verb to make it singular. And at last, we add object. Now let's see some examples. 1. Push dash the guitar very well. Now here the verb is play. Now push is a singular subject. So we will add as to the verb play. And the sentence will be push plays the guitar very well. Let us take second example. Susan and her brother always dash their room on Sundays. The verb given here is clean. Now we have to fill the correct form of clean in simple present tense. Let's see. Now in this sentence, Susan and her brother, there are two people. So the subject is plural. So, we will use the first form of the verb clean and the sentence will be Susan and her brother always clean their room on Sundays. Let's see some more examples. She wears good clothes. Little children ask questions all the time. Most Sundays we play together. Now we'll see simple past tense. Read these sentences. We played football in the park yesterday. I danced for an hour in the morning. In these sentences, the verbs played and danced state that the activities happened earlier and are in the simple past tense. The simple past tense talks about actions that have happened earlier or completed in the past. For example, I ran a race last year. They drank some juice in the morning. Now the basic formula for simple past tense. Subject plus second form of the verb plus object. Now let it be more clear. Subject. Subject may be singular or plural. In both the cases, 
we use the second form of the verb then we add object for most verbs the past form of verb is formed by adding d or ed for example dance danced live lived bake baked clean cleaned paint painted play played for some other verbs they change completely in the past tense form for example eat act make made draw drew begin began sleep slept sit sat let's see some examples one amit did a lot last night the verb given here is dance and we have to use the past form of verb dance so we'll add d to the verb dance and the sentence will be amit danced a lot last night let's see second example she dash home at 5 pm yesterday the verb is reach so we'll add ed to the verb reach and the sentence will be she reached home at 5 pm yesterday let's see some more examples fun sarita went to goa last month to i drew a beautiful sketch last week three the choir sang a beautiful song in all these sentences the verbs are used in their past forms simple future tense read these sentences it will rain today we shall win the match now in these sentences will rain and shall win state that the activities have not happened and will happen later so these words are in the simple future tense the simple future tense talks about actions that will happen sometimes later or near future to talk about the future we use will or shall with the verb we use is are am going to when we talk about a plan for example sam will go to the club tomorrow we are going to disneyland in summer basic formula for simple future tense subject plus will or shall plus base form of verb plus object or subject plus is am are plus going to plus base form of verb plus object let's see the use of shall and will shall shall is used to ask for an advice it is used to make an offer it is also used to ask a question will will is used to express future plans it is also used to make promises let's see some examples shall we have lunch now shall i leave the door open we will paint our house next week i will help you tomorrow they are going to celebrate their 25th marriage anniversary